Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about access modifiers and specifically what happens when we apply the protected access modifier to methods. I'm going to open up my web browser here to javacjava.com, select menu, then Java OOP Tutorials. I'm going to scroll down here to Protected Method. When the Protected Access modifier is applied to a method, the following access is granted. Full access is granted to invoke the method from within the same package. In addition, access is granted to invoke the method from subclasses of another package through inheritance only. Things to think about. Be mindful of the class access type. Standard outer class can only have either public or default access. A protected access method can be invoked through inheritance or reference from within the same package irregardless of the class access. A protected access method can only be invoked through inheritance outside of the package and only when it is contained in public access class. Alright, let's go ahead and scroll down here and highlight this code here. Control C to copy. I'm going to move my browser off screen here. And I have a shortcut to the desktop, uh, sure the command prompt on my desktop here, but if you don't, you can create one real quick by going new, shortcut, select and type in CMD, next, and finish. It's just that easy. Type in Java C, which is the Java compiler. Press enter on that. You should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by. If you don't, you want to, you're going to want to watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, cd space backslash. cd is short for change directory, and backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory using the md command called java, and I already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. Boy. I'm going to change directories to the java folder, and this is what I call my working directory. This is where I'll have all my packages and classes and everything like that. So I'm going to make a directory called 1, because we're going to have a package 1 and a package 2. So and I'm going to notepad uh, class1.java here after changing directories to the 1 folder. Class1.java is going to be the name of our source code file. I'm going to hit Control v to paste in, and do some blanks, blank lines here on some of this stuff here. Okay, so what we've got here is two classes inside of package one and I'm going to be importing everything from the two package and I've got class one down here with default access modifier here no access modifier which is default and then I've got the protected access modifier applied to the method one method method one method is very simple it just displays this string literal to the console protected method invoked in package one all right, um, before I go over tester, let's create the, the package, the uh, class for class two. So make sure you get that saved. I'm gonna change the directories down one and make a directory called two. Change directories to the two folder. Notepad class two.java. Okay, come back over to my website here. Highlight the code for package two and let's paste it in here. All right, let's go ahead and save that out here. So uh, class two is really, really simple here. It's, uh, it's a public access class, and then I've got a protected method inside of it, method two, which simply displays to the console here, protected method invoked in package two, right? All right, and part of package two. Very, very simple class there. All right, let's come back to class one here. So the first thing we're going to do in the tester class, which contains our main method entry point, is we're going to extend class one. So class one will become the super class of tester and we will inherit all of the methods here, right? Which is just method one. And then I will create a new uh, reference to an instance of the tester class to create a tester object and I'll use the dot operator to invoke its method one method. 
So that'll demonstrate inheritance within the same package. Um, now, the next thing I'll do is use the new operator to create a instance of the class one object and right down here and use the dot operator to invoke its method one method. So we should see this string literal displayed twice to the console. Let's go ahead and save this and clear our screen. We'll go down a fold, down a directory here and type in Java C one slash class one. So we're going to compile the class one dot Java there. And then we'll use Java to run the Java virtual machine. And we want to invoke in the one package the tester class. Okay, so protected method invoked in package one, protected method invoked in package one. Okay, great. Protected, we definitely still have access to the method inside of the same package. All right, now things are going to get a little bit more interesting here. Comment this, comment. All right, let's come back over to the website here and let's scroll up. And so basically when protected access modifier is applied to a method, the following access is granted. Full access is granted to invoke the method from within the same package. We're good there. Now, in addition, access is granted to invoke the method from subclasses of another package through inheritance only. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to class tester will extend class two. So class two is the super class, class tester is the subclass. So we can inherit the methods of class two, which is method two, via inheritance only. All right, so what we've got here is I'm creating a new uh, reference to an instance of the tester object, right? And tester extends class two. So we inherited the method two method here, and we can use the dot operator to invoke it. All right, ready? Let's go ahead and save this here. Recompile it and run it again. Protected method invoked in package two. All right, we come over here to package two. And sure enough, we were able to invoke the protected method two over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now what happens when we just simply, I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out. Take that out. I'm just going to just completely remove that, you know, that, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try, I'm going to be able to create an instance of the class two object here, right? And we know that because I've got public applied to the class two class, right? So I'll be able to create the new instance. Now, when we try to invoke the dot method to method, right, we will not be able to do so, right, because access is granted to invoke the method from subclasses of another package through inheritance only. So this is an inheritance. We're actually using a reference to an instance. So let's go ahead and save this out and see what sort of error message we get when we try to compile. Okay, so error, method two has protected access in class two when we try to invoke the method two um, method there. All right, so that's basically how that works there. Um, I'm gonna bring this back over and just go into things to think about there. So a protected access method can be invoked from within the same package or regardless of class access, we went over that. A protected access method can only be invoked through inheritance outside of the package and only one is contained in a public access class. So um, if we were to do something like, you know, just remove this public off here and make class two default level access, then we're gonna get a whole different error because we won't even be able to instantiate the class two object. Right, class two is not public and two cannot be accessed from outside package, right? So obviously we have to have uh, default access or public access on this right here. Okay, well anyway, I am going to go ahead and close out of this, close out of that, close out of that. Don't really have any final thoughts on this, this tutorial today either, so that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.